And as you all enter, the door closes behind you. And what you see next is several figures pouring out of different doors from the bottom. They are about seven feet tall with aquatic features, gills, slimy skin, fins on the back from the head all the way down, dark eyes, carrying spears, swords, and makeshift armor, and they are charging you. Oh, about time. (laughs) (laughs) Finally. Q, formation A. And I'll attack. Awesome. So this is a, not a confrontation, <laughs> since this is in the castle, and this is kind of just regular enemies. This is called Face the Horde. Yes! So roll yes. with yes. Woohoo! And I get cleave. I have cleave, so it will hit multiple targets, correct? Yeah. And plus iron. That's nine. Almost. Okay, nine. you get to pick two. They hit back. You get some on you, which is mark contamination. You end up in a risky position, or more or co- are coming. Which two do you choose? I have to pick two of these? Yeah. <laughs> ooh, ooh. <laughs> oh, I end up in a risky position. Okay. And they hit back. Okay. Uh, you, can suffer, you can suffer two harm. Okay, so with my one armor, does that so just mean can, one arm? So you can just cross, erase the armor or cross it off. That armor is gone until future reference. And then take the one arm. Unless you want to take a minor wound. Uh, and you end up in a mm-hmm. risky position. What you guys see is you see Gideon charge forward, double hook swords in hand, like cleaving these things in twain, just like fighting the mobs and mobs of them. Uh, he gets pierced on in the shoulder by one of their spears, and there are a lot of them that, that have poured out. Um, and he has done a good job hacking most of them away, but you see them beginning to, like this mob, beginning to move him towards one of the doors. I will take uh, my pistol and shoot the one that's moving him towards the door. Okay. And I, I say, formation A! Face the horde. I'm gonna mark <laughs> contamination. Is it three contamination for one blood? Yes. Is that what happens? Correct. Oh, no. Thank the gods I rolled with advantage. Uh, so that's a 10, but then it's minus one, so that's a nine. Which two yeah. do you pick? They hit back, you get some uh, contamination, <laughs> you can have risky or more are coming. I'm going to mark contamination and more are coming. Okay. Uh, You hear, like, the one holding you, Gideon, like, is just, you see its guts and, like, meaty bits just spray over your chainmail and onto your swords as it drops you. And you see uh, Hugh just pistol pointed where the body drops. I yell with a thumbs up with my sword in hand. Formation A! And you hear now that you're closer and the rest of you, you hear the echoing of the footsteps coming from all of these doors. What do you do? How many doors are here? Uh, eight. <laughs> That's a lot of doors. Eight, two on each wall. Oh, no. And they came out of, did they come out of all the doors when, they, when we first entered? Uh, they came out of, not the door you came in, but every other one, so seven doors. I would like to try to find uh, the safest door. <laughs> uh, sea clear uh, is probably the most Yeah, <laughs> That's two ones. That's pretty damn bad. That's, two, that's really bad. Uh, you don't see shit. What's going to happen if uh, this fails? It's going to seven to nine. There will be a cost on any failure. There's going to be even more of a cost. You... <laughs> Well, no, that's right. Well, that's fine. You saw this. Um, what is going to happen is you are looking around, like just trying to figure out, paralyzed by indecision, as there are many doors, and you just hear footsteps echoing from all of them, and you are going to take one harm as a spear mm-hmm. pierces your side, and there is one of these aquatic fish-like humanoids um, on the other end staring at you. And more are now pouring out of the doors. <laughs> Shut out that door! <laughs> so there, but there's footsteps coming from all of the doors? It's echoing and you hear them coming from all of them. Yes. Uh, this might be a good time to not be here. Can I roll, would it be dodge to what are you trying get to out of here? 
I'm trying to leave Flow, like, water, the room. You're in the exploration Got it. So I'm well, gonna I do had, that. Ty had a move that oh, I wanted to do yep. when I got hit by an adversary, when sure. I took harm from an adversary. Uh, it's called bloody insights. <laughs> okay. Um, so when I, when I take harm from an adversary, I hold one. Okay. I can spend one to reveal a weakness in their fighting style and give an ally advantage against them, or okay. spend three to create an opening. So for now, I'm just gonna hold on to it. Okay. Um, oh yeah, sorry. Go I ahead. will, if, if you, uh, Maria, I will say the, the opening doesn't really apply because we're not in confrontation mode. But if you spend uh, the oh, one, if you want to reveal it to someone else because it is ally, uh, whoever rolls mm -hmm. face the horde next will have advantage for free. You see, I'm going. Yeah, if you need a quick refresher, you see Gideon and uh, Hugh are like by one side, shooting and fighting off uh, these these more and more fishermen that are appearing. You see um, Isidore just kind of looking around, trying to analyze the situation. I'm gonna shout at Isidore then and say. Um, he's <laughs> pointing towards the spear that's kind of in my side. <laughs> that one. <laughs> so on my yes, my full roll. like water roll, I got a three. All right, I'm doing great. <laughs> really good. I'm doing great. This is not the generation that survives. Um. <laughs> uh, oh no. I will give your action. Oh, I'll give your action a cost. So it's not that you fail. It's that there's a cost for. You're gonna have two because you rolled so bad. Well, that's seven. To <laughs> Great. Nine. That's seven to nine. Well, um, here's what I'll do. You're trying to flow like water to just kind of dodge this. Is that what was you were doing? Well, I was um, gonna leave, but it kind of changes now that um, John has shared some information. So I guess I guess what we can do. Um, can we hand wave it and say that I was moving towards the door? quickly moving towards the door um, that John pointed to? Uh, sure. So what, what's going to happen is you you roll up there. Um, on You still did fail. Um, you're going to take one contamination and one harm. Oof, duh. Uh, but you are in you are in a better position. I mean, you can roll with, if you're facing the horde, you can roll with advantage. That's what that move did for you. What are you doing, Gideon? And Hugh, as you face down these beasts. Oh, I'm just, I'm just having a great time. I'm, I'm connecting the swords now and just like swinging them in a big arc and chopping them up. So I have Blood Trail that says, uh, you're merciless in pressing your advantage. Once you've landed a strike on a target, get advantage on future strikes. Yeah. Is the horde, I'll all right. Say yeah. I'll say yes for this. I don't know if it does apply, but I'm gonna say it does. It would make nice. sense. <laughs> a one? A two and a six, so that equals nine, plus my one iron makes it ten. It's, well, that it's was not, awesome. you don't add all and three, good. you don't add all three dice. Advantage means the highest of the two dice. Oh no, so, oh, well oh, good, I, I've messed this up. So the two and the six is eight plus one is nine. That's still a mixed success. Um, mm -hmm. I'll take a contamination and they hit back and I will suffer harm. Okay. With this, you see, like, despite the more that have come out, you came out, you see Gideon just in his glory, just destroying all of these beasts around you. And despite them coming out just in waves and droves, he slays them all, just covered in fish guts and blood. And he stands alone and quiet, as you have, as he has now slaughtered everyone in this chamber. Yeah. Th that one that I shot down. I sorry, I, I didn't want to interrupt anyone. I wanted to capture its soul. That's a thing I can do. Yeah, so I'm gonna you, you captured its soul. Just keep that in mind. This one, as you okay. do. <laughs> it says I can freely use one of its moves when I do. I don't know what moves yeah. it has. We'll but... talk about that. Okay. Okay. Oh my god. I look to John and I say, "Hey, John, that's just my morning calisthenics." So you know, John. I I am impressed. Good. With that as well, um, <laughs> Gideon, you can you can increase your covenant with Hugh by one because he got the killing blow on something. So that was a bit of nastiness we just encountered. How's everyone feeling? I'm feeling all right. Upset, John. You know, I just realized it's my protege and my sister, John. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm upset with you, John. Well, I'm cleaning off my swords looking at him. <laughs> are you upset or are you proud? Your sister's proud. Hold on. Don't put me in this. Don't do that. Uh-uh. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't. Nope. Don't do it. Don't do that. Nope. Okay. I'm gonna just do a slow 180 and just start looking through these doors. <laughs> That's a great idea. It is. <laughs> you can spend your one travel to the labyrinth if you'd like, Isadora, to have a good clear path of which door to use next. Yes, I would love to do that. Okay. Without much time in your insight, you find the way on. A lot of them lead to just... Actually, you, you I think you walk down one first. Um, and it leads to a large pit, and what you see is a huge clutch of egg. A huge clutch of what? Eggs. 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 That's what I thought you said. Eggs. Eggs. Uh, did anybody bring any fire? Are you hungry? I have a gun. Scrambled? Over easy? I mean, I could just go down there and just smash them all. Oh, yeah, I think that smashing eggs down in them always works well um if uh any unseen parents are around i think that could be quite dangerous or we leave them and move on you know i think leaving them is actually i, I don't think that would be a terrible idea we could just i mean there's seven other doors <laughs> let's Maybe, maybe let's check the other ones first. Just mark these doors, just bar the doors, so that maybe they can't get out. Yeah, mark, mark it as the egg door. That's fine. Just gonna use the chalk that I have to mark corridors, and I'm just gonna write eggs you walk, on the outside yeah, of the door. You, within like a quick montage, so you walk through the rest of the doors, you know which one is the exit, and a lot of the other ones are just these egg holes. Egg hole. Type please. <laughs> so many please. egg holes. Wait a second. We would have found the exit first because now it, someone just wrote eggs on seven <laughs> doors. <laughs> eggs. Egg holes. It's important. Every it's important person has egg hole. That won't. This certainly won't come back to, to, to bite us. I mean, we could pile up some bodies in front of the door and make it more difficult. I don't know. I think it'll. It, I think it will be fine. Uh, I mean, if it was hatching these seven-foot men, my question is, how do they know how to open a door if they're just hatched? But also, we have they no idea if they were. We got here. Was there like a way out of that egg hole <laughs> besides the door? God. All you saw was the one doorway and the just the floor cut. The egg hole just chock full of eggs. You didn't really explore if there was anything below, but there was no other exit out, no. Yeah. So when you say, like, a hole, is it like a hole? Like a, like a... It's not... Like a, a pit. It's, it's not like an endless pit, but it is like, it, you, there's a walkway, and then uh -huh. below it drops off, and there is about maybe six foot around just a hole that goes down for maybe five or six feet, just filled with clutches of eggs. That's not that. That's not that deep. That's not that, that unthinkable that they could just like hurt. Or, especially they're, they're big. They're big. Cool. I think it's fine. Well, while they're opening doors, can I use my bandages and healing salves to heal myself at so all? So on mm. that, that is a good point. So you are looking. Excuse me. I'm sorry. For a safe place to recover. If you're doing it by yourself, you can roll plus mercury, or you can ask someone to help you. So with my utility gear, that that's it's, no matter what, uh, someone still needs to help me. Yeah, when you're when, when you're trying to heal inside the castle, it's always there's a you know since it's mystical and there's always a sense of danger. There's a specific move for shelter. If you're trying to find, um, I'm gonna ask my place. sister to help me out. This I got this ingrown hair on my shoulder. <laughs> it's actually a stab wound. <laughs> Would you mind giving me a hand? I will help. How do I do that? Roll plus mercury. Uh, nine. Good. Uh, that's a hit. Um, you can. Ooh, something happens. But that's, fine. <laughs> that's a hit. Sure does. What? Something what that happens. That's the fine. regent's clock. Yeah. Sure did. No clocks. Wait, oh no. The eh. advanced regent's clock on the seven and nine. Um, everyone gets to choose one. Ten to another explorer. They heal two harm or remove their lightest wound. 
encourage another explorer, they get a fleeting advantage for the next move. Uh, use your bloodline's shelter move. All of you have a shelter move on your bloodline sheet. Yes. Or gain aid from a contact. Which, don't do that right. That won't be helpful right now. It will matter eventually. <laughs> yes. I'd uh, like to phone a friend. I, I'd like to use our, the shelter move from my um, founder. What is it? <laughs> um, when uh, you upgrade, the re- you they may upgrade and reinforce their party's gear. They each hold one. So, uh, spend the hold to get a fleeting advantage on strike or endure. So everyone can gain a hold one for advantage on strike or endure. I would, I would like to tend to another explorer. Intent is Adora. You if would. she will let me. <laughs> I will. I will. Does that mean I heal? You heal to harm. I'm... I will try to be less of a prick. Your brother is very interesting. Don't even think about it. <laughs> he was just very impressive, that's all. He's trying to complete the set. Wow. <laughs> 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 I mean, I if, if someone could get my shoulder, I don't mean to volunteer yeah. you, but ow. Well, so everyone, like, I have one harm. John has a harm. Sister's healed. Q is healed up, right? I'm fine. I didn't, I didn't take any harm. <laughs> I'm going to use my shelter move. Sweet. Uh, they can inspire others with tales of selfless heroism. What kind of you know, you these eggs in? remind me of the time when I climbed the mountain and I faced a griffin at the top. And we battled all evening, all day, all night, until he just died from exhaustion. Didn't even have to deliver the killing blow. And I scrambled the griffin eggs. And they're fantastic with ketchup. That's my tale of selfless. Oh, no, that's self-full heroism, but that's fine. Uh, the next time uh, allies would mark a contamination when trying to aid or protect another explorer, they ignore it. Okay, that won't come in handy for me, but that's good. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, you shooting the guy off me, I would say, is protecting. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Might luck into it. And you take this moment of respite in the, uh, the egg chambers and um, know your next path out. So I have torches and a fire lighting kit. Can I just, like, throw the old torch down the yeah. egg hole? Absolutely. How many do I have? Three, I guess. Uh, three? Sure. <laughs> I'll, I'll do it in two of the egg chambers. Okay. <laughs> and keep one. Yeah, as you... Are you taking anyone with you? I'll ask my sister to come with me. As you guys... I'll go. As you cast these torches down into the egg chamber and they burn, you see... Uh, chalk marks and writing of symbols and circles and runes on the bottom, all around the bottom of this chamber. Oh, 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 oh. I want to take the spell from it. Okay. <laughs> this is what the, if it's a ritual yeah, site. it is. You can drink deep. Holy moly. Roll to drink deep. I just upgraded my sulfur. Just drink up that egg hole. I know. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to mark contamination. <laughs> okay. Um, but when I do that, I destroy the soul vessel instead of marking contamination. Awesome. Oh my god, Matthew! <laughs> Listen, wow. it's the game. It's not me. Thank god. Uh, ten. Thank awesome. the fucking so, god. Um, you don't need to pick an option on your first cast of this spell. What this spell does, I will message you, actually. Thank you. It's more fun that spell. Can anyone do that? Yep. This is just something. Everyone, can anyone can drink deep. Yeah. Yeah. It's a sulfur-based stat. Is this right. is this how spells work in Castlevania? <gasps> Kinda. Some it, some of them. Actually, your spell of like killing things and getting their like souls to use their attacks. That's very Castlevania. Finding spells is a little less, but it's still cool. Find Castlevania is very finding spells related to monsters and then using those back. What does it look like when you absorb this spell? What does it look like when Hugh drinks deep? Hmm, I don't know. Uh, uh, I think that Hugh comes from a very mm, professional school of mysticism, if that makes sense. He, it, his his uh, uh, methods are very clean. 
Um, so I think he puts like rigid kind of runes in the air and each one locks in and it draws more and more power. Um, I think his hand briefly changes like shape once the spell hits and then it goes back to normal. He's like, oh, great. We've got that. We've got a spell. It While it's going on, I whisper to my sister. I taught him everything he knows. <laughs> I'm sure you did. Every- Great job. Look at him. Look at him go. It's like a, All because of you. Like a, like a proud daddy watching your child walk. This must be what it feels like to feel responsible. Not even close. <laughs> <laughs>